In this tutorial we're going to look at uh, the spreadsheet function or calc program of OpenOffice. If you are familiar with the workings of Microsoft Excel or any other spreadsheet program um, this probably isn't a tutorial for you because it's really an introduction to how the spreadsheet um, program works and um, in later tutorials I'll deal with in more detail with uh, the, some of the more complex aspects like charting etc but this particular program uh, tutorial is going to be uh, an overview so let's start with this by clicking on the spreadsheet um, icon here and um, we'll load up our first page now a spreadsheet program is really its, it's, pr its primary power is its ability to number crunch um, and what we can do is we can actually look at the page here and as you can see it's set out in a grid fashion um, and it's set out in a, in a grid fashion for a good reason it's where you put all your data you ro organize your data into rows into columns um, and if we click on if we look for example at the makeup of the page you can see that um, by default we start on the cell A1 um, and that address is given in the left hand um, text box here um, and you can see that cell A1 is highlighted um, in with a black thick black border around it and the column A um, header is highlighted in green and the row uh, 1 um, header is is highlighted in green too indicating the intersection of the row and the column so calc is made up of columns as you can see I've highlighted a whole column here and rows and it's basically Cartesian coordinates so wherever I click in a particular cell um, you can see that that particular address is column D row 9 and that appears uh, as I've shown you already in the uh, name box there it names the particular cell that you're talking about the next data entry put over over here is the input line where you can actually input data and whatever you put in the input line here appears in the cell that you've currently clicked on. So a calc is made up of columns and of rows and where a column and a row intersect it's called a cell and we're going to look at some of the basic functions of what calc does. Now its primary function is to process data and it can process data in a particularly efficient manner and in, in this instance we're going to look at one of the functions that's very powerful within um, calc called autofill and what this does is it recognizes um, patterns and when it recognizes a pattern it enables you to fill out data very quickly so if we type in the letter number 12 and then we type in the number 14 you and I can quickly see that we're counting up in, d in doubles but we need to give um, a calc a, um, a series of three numbers usually or more to um, enable it to recognize and spot the pattern to confirm the pattern if you like so what I've done now is I've simply clicked with my left mouse button and highlighted the three cells that I wanted to consider and if we look at cell C6 um, you can see that I've clicked on it and in the bottom right hand corner is a large square box or the large, large square really and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click and hold my left mouse button down with that and I'm just going to keep dragging down and can you see the red field I do a, you see the red um, field around the outside that it's created um, I'll just do that again now because scroll down and what if I let go now we can see that calc has realized that that's a pattern and it has um, filled it auto filled each cell um, in an increment of two and entered that value into those cells and so it's a very quick way of actually creating um, or filling in um, repetitive data so for example if I type the word Monday in here calc is will recognize that as a word and recognizes that that comes in a particular pattern and you can use the autofill function along rows as well and so I'll simply drag along to the right here and you can see that calc has recognized that that in fact is a, a day of the week and it's given us an entire week it's the same with um, uh, the months so if we do January and you have to enter this data before you can do autofill and I drag along again 
can see it fills in the months and you can actually scroll down as well it doesn't matter it doesn't matter which way you do it and so basically the autofill function is a very rapid way of being able to um, clear all the data delete all yes okay all gone so that's the autofill function in calc very quick um, I also want to show you how to um, enter data so as I said to you before you can just click in a cell that you want to click in and you can add some data um, and you can see um, I click another cell let's put 14 here it also appears on the input line as well so you've got two places you can um, input data you can either input data in the input line or directly into the cells themselves um, let me see what else can I show you oh, let's let's format our cells um, if we were to print this page out now you can although you can see the grid um, that's here on the page when we print this out uh, if we were to print this out the grid would not show the grid is there for you to see how the page is um, filled um, with cells but they don't show when they print out if you want them to show you have to actually format some cells so in a moment I'm going to create some formulas so let's just highlight an area here and I want to format these cells so we're going to click on format and click on format and click on cells when this comes up here we go and it's fairly straightforward um, you can choose from these tabs across the top here so depending on the kind of data you're entering you can format the cells to or tell calc to co to um, work with the data that's put in the highlighted cells in a particular way it could be percentage points or currency so you can you can decide how you want um, data to be entered um, in a particular cell or handled so if you just type in one two three four it would put the dollar sign in front of it and if you wanted to show um, a loss it would, uh, you'd highlight the negative one but I'm going to stick with um, number just standard number you can um, edit the fonts so yes I'm happy with um, Arial font effects you can go through all of this alignment now this is really important um, as you get your cells as the cells become larger you can um, s decide whether you where you want your data to be aligned um, in, in the horizontal plane and in the vertical plane so you need to work through those as you um, as you understand Excel uh, cell uh, calc a bit more so I'm going to put some borders around here I can click around here I want to click a border of one point I can change the color if I wish to let's make it green so it stands out and I'm going to put a background color in a light green color and click OK and so you can see now I've got this area in my um, chart that when it prints out will print out with that light green color in the background and the cells will have a green border around them so let's enter some data Monday well I want to spend things on two days Tuesday and let's put total in here now the great thing about autofill is it works in many different ways and I'm going to create a cell in the total column here and I'm going to show you how to create a basic formula and then using autofill I can copy that formula down the total column um, in the um, input line um, you can decide how you want data to be handled so I want to um, start a formula and all formulas in calc start with an equal sign and so this um, means that we can't use equals in any other function other than starting a, a function um, in calc and I want it equals I'm going to my formula says um, equals d6 times and we use the asterisk or shift 8 for that Monday enter so I've now got a formula running in the background here so you can see that if I click on the cell I've got a value of 0 but if I look on the input line I've got the actual formula so now I'm going to put in some value let's say I spent uh, in fact let's let's hide format these cells and let's put them as currency so let's come back to number come back to currency and let's make it click OK there we go so I spent zero dollars so let's say I've spent twelve dollars now and I've spent fifty six dollars here and so I've multiplied them together I spent six hundred and seventy two dollars so far and if I do autofill and drag that down I can now just put in any random number I want to put in spent 
five cents that day, and let's just do all of this. Um, 34 and so on and so forth. You can see what I'm doing here. And the auto fill and the auto, I don't actually like those that currency setting. So I'm going to come back to format cells and change. Yeah, I don't like that. Let's make it decimal. Click OK, and there we go.